Now up is Penn State head coach Guy Godowski. Godowski is entering his third season with the Nittany Lions. Penn State returns 18 letter winners from last year's team that played in the Nittany Lions inaugural NCAA Division I season. Coach, if you'd like to start with an opening statement, then we'll open the floor for questions. I'm um, sure. This is just a very exciting time for Penn State, uh, Penn State hockey. Uh, I think we're all here because we're very excited to to compete against the best and, uh, and such great programs and most storied programs in college hockey are in this conference. So it's, a, it's an incredible honor to be a part of it. Thanks, Coach. We'll now take questions. Coach, uh, Andy Johnson, Bucky's fifth quarter. You guys got a chance to kind of dip, dip, dip your toes in the water as an independent last year. Um, how has the community reaction around Penn State been for, for you guys as accepting the, you know, the, the new hockey program in terms of you know, the community? It's been fantastic, and it's been fantastic for a while. I think ever since Mr. Pagula made the announcement of the gift, I think everybody has just been very excited about what was going to come. Certainly extremely excited about Division One hockey on its own. Certainly very excited about the new beautiful arena, which is not only great for, for Division One hockey, the varsity program, but for the community. And incredible excitement about the Big Ten Hockey Conference and what it means to see the programs that um, the, the university, the student body, and the community gets to see these programs come to Pagula Ice Arena. I mean, they're really excited. So as you mentioned, to dip your toes in, we certainly did that. We had a chance to compete against some Big Ten opponents, obviously not at home. So I think there's great excitement in, in seeing these great programs come to State College. Guy, Jess Myers with 1500 ESPN. How important was last season, and I'm thinking especially getting a couple of wins against Big Ten teams, going into Wisconsin, getting a win, et cetera. How, how important was that for building your program? Oh, I think it's extremely important. In fact, I think we all maybe would like to have another year where we could sort of uh, get a little more work done uh, and learn about our teams and try to establish our foundation and what our objectives are, but certainly getting the opportunity to play Big Ten programs. We we knew we were going to play two. Michigan State and Wisconsin were on. We're already on the schedule. We happened to play Ohio State um, in a tournament. Um, so to have those three experiences, I think, are very valuable. Obviously, we'd love a lot more, but three are a lot better than zero. So I think the experience was uh, something that we all grew from, and and certainly gave us an indication, at least, that we're going the right direction. Tell us about uh, recruiting a little bit uh, in Pennsylvania with you know the Penguins obviously being very, very popular, the Flyers have been popular for years. What's the hockey community like there and, and what's it like recruiting out there? Yeah, it's actually the hockey community was something that really surprised me pleasantly when I got on campus. I didn't realize uh, there's so many jerseys. You mentioned two of them. There's a lot of Flyer jerseys. There's a lot of Penguin jerseys. You're starting to see a lot more Buffalo Sabres jerseys as well as others. Um, but the, the hockey community was already, I was very pleasantly surprised at how ingrained it was already. So there's a, there is a passion for hockey in Happy Valley already. And then with, with what, you know, the, the transition to be a Division I team certainly was tremendous. And the, the anticipation excitement of the Big Ten Hockey Conference is certainly incredibly exciting. So when you, when, when you are recruiting, I'm not sure if you're referring to specifically in Pennsylvania, but there's a, a tremendous buzz um, about what's going to happen and what it, it's going to mean. So recruiting in that sense, there's a lot of great hockey players, great student athletes that are really attracted to Penn State University, um, a lot that are very attracted to the Big Ten Hockey Conference, and certainly a lot of excitement and curiosity about what this great Pagula Ice Arena is going to mean and to be able to develop there. So to answer your question about recruiting, it's been uh, a fun experience. A guy, Tyler Mason with Fox Sports North. Um, some of the other coaches talked about the, the importance of the Big Ten Network and getting the exposure for their programs, but especially for you guys, is that something that could be you know very big to, to kind of get your names out there as, as a young program? I think it's big for everybody. I think it's uh, incredibly important for college hockey. It's obviously going to help tremendously with exposure across the border. So I think we all benefit from this. I think every, you know, I've been in this a while and I, I can remember decades back where uh, coaches were saying we just need another great institution to to join college hockey and that's what's happened and and I think the the domino effect of that in terms of what's going to happen for everybody and the exposure is tremendous so certainly we are right along with there um, 
with our program being being new there's a lot of excitement on its own but certainly to have the exposure of the big 10 conference um, to let everybody know that Penn State is here is something that yeah we're all going to benefit from guy Brian Posick uh, Badger Sports Network uh, kind of a two-part question could you describe your new ice arena <laughs> and uh, what what's ticket sales been like <laughs> sure uh, to de describe the arena I mean it is beautiful it's beautiful from a, a fan perspective it's a beautiful arena it's a very comfortable there's not a bad seat in the house as you can imagine and it's um, it's beautiful describing it as beautiful uh, from the uh, from the student body perspective uh, perspective it's not only beautiful it's fun the student section is awesome it's uh, it's literally as steep as code will allow um, there's a place for the band right in the middle of them and they're gonna rock that place they're gonna have a lot of fun so from their perspective fun from the student athlete perspective convenient it's right in the middle of campus um, also I don't want to say excessive I want to say um, they have everything there uh, that they need um, to develop so certainly it's convenient for them in the fact that whether it's working out in a tremendous weight room looking at video studying um, certainly training other aspects of skills and hockey uh, medical attention everything is there for them so from the student athletes perspective all-inclusive um, and I guess you, to answer your second question about ticket sales they've been um, put it this way all the problems we have are really good problems to have it's because we don't have enough tickets it's you know those are those are problems uh, everybody wants them uh, our student ticket when student ticket sales went on um, uh, I guess the result eventually they had to be shut down because there was too many students missing class to stand in line so that's a good problem to have <laughs> time for two more questions guy Andy Baggett with the Wisconsin State Journal uh, outside of writing the check to what degree does is Terry Pagula involved with your program yeah uh, certainly he has the biggest role we all know that um, but he's also just a great hockey guy it is truthfully um, he had the opportunity to meet him a few times and he'll, he'll call a few times about certain things but every time within a matter of less than a minute you somehow forget who you're speaking to and you're ending up talking to a, a great hockey guy who's a who's a great hockey fan and it's fun to speak hockey with him so his role is certainly we all know his role but he has a, a great way about him of just easing it in that the that the conversations he talks about are, are, are just about being excited about hockey and what it means so um, I've really enjoyed every interaction that we get to have with them. Guy, what do we? What can we expect from your team on the ice? You're picked sixth in a six-team league, and, and you know you're the, you're the new guys. But uh, what are we going to see out there? No idea. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> we're new. Um, I, I, it's a new conference. It's a new. We're new. We've never been in a conference, so very difficult for me to say this is what you're going to get. We don't know, but that's part of the excitement about it. I can tell you the. You know the players are they're all here these are the guys if we if we recruited you to come to penn state we believe that you're you're someone hungry to accept that challenge we don't know we we uh, trust me uh, we're not naive we understand very well how great the programs are in the big 10 conference we're very very understanding of that and very respectful of that at the same time we need players that have that understanding but are really hungry to accept the challenge we guys that just want to show up and arrive at some place that's already established and ready to go those aren't the type of players we need we need the ones that were very excited about the challenge and understand how great our opponents are with that being said we have no idea but we're looking forward to finding out